welcome to another episode of Level Up. In today's video, I'm going to start building a platform game and doing it step by step. These are hopefully going to be little snippet videos. Um, so if you're building your own game and you want to know how to make a sprite, you can just find how to make a sprite video um, and just watch it. We're going to arcade.makecode.com and once you're there, we're going to start a new project. So we'll click new project. Um, we'll call this one sprite. There we go. Oops, create. Once the project opens, you can see you've got uh, your simulator on the left hand side of your screen, um, your blocks down the center and then your workspace is on the right hand side. We won't worry just yet about um, creating a background or anything. We'll just focus on creating a sprite. To do this, we'll come to the sprites block and we'll drag out set my sprite and pop it into on star. Our sprite is going to be the hero of our game. So we'll change the name of our sprite to hero. Perfect. Um, and this is the of a kind player. We don't see our sprite appearing because we've not chosen an image for our sprite yet. So if you click in that little gray block, it'll give you the option to either draw your own sprite or to choose one from the gallery up here. I'm terrible at art, so I will not be drawing my own sprite. Um, I'll just be choosing a pre-made sprite from the gallery. What should we choose? In our recent webinar, we chose a monkey and then um, had to change that to the duck. So we won't do a duck again. Aha, we will do a princess. There's our sprite, it's a princess. And there in our simulator, we can see our princess has appeared. So what we want to do now is we want to be able to move our princess. And we'll do this by coming to the controller block and selecting move my sprite with buttons. Pop that under set hero. So this little symbol that has appeared over here, that means there's a bug in your code and that shows you where you need to fix something. So the problem here is We've chosen to move my sprite with buttons, but we don't currently have a variable called my sprite anymore. We've called our variable hero. So if we click the down arrow, we can change that to hero. And now in our simulator, we can use our buttons to move our hero. Our hero is moving everywhere though. We need to set platforms that our hero can walk along. And we do this by coming to the scene block, selecting scene, and we're going to set the tile map. So click that and drop that in to on start. So the tile map is like the background of your game. So this is our tile map. And what we'll do is we'll just pop in a few platforms for our hero to walk on. Oh no. Let's go a bit more jazzy. So you see you can choose from different themes. So we've got the forest theme, aquatic, dungeon, miscellaneous. Um, and you can click through those and find sort of interesting blocks. So I'm going to choose this pink one. Um, and then we'll just draw these platforms. If you just click and hold, you can have a line of platforms. So we'll pop in a few platforms. Um, give our sprite something to walk on like that. Let's see what this looks like. Right, so there are our platforms. But if we click in our simulator, our sprite moves right through these. And what we need to do is we need to turn those platforms into walls. We do this by clicking back into your tile map and selecting this option over here. So this is going to um, turn those platforms into walls and our sprite is not going to be able to pass through them. Select all of your walls. Once you've done that, click done. And back in the simulator, let's see. Ah. There we go, she stops. 
So our walls have worked. The only problem now is she's sort of moving a bit erratically. So we want to give her gravity. We will go back to my sprites and we are going to choose this set my sprite X to zero. So let's take that out and drop it over there. A little bug icon. So that reminds us to change it to hero. And then we want to choose the AY acceleration Y. So this is going to be the acceleration in the vertical axis. Um, um, let's change this to 200. Ah, and there she drops. So now we can see she can still move up if we push the up arrow. Um, but she drops. So she'll start on our platform. So that's perfect. So now what we want to do is we want to change it so we can only control her movements on the x-axis. So she can only move left and right. We don't want her to be able to move up when you push the up arrow. So that's what she's currently doing. We only want her to move left and right. And we do this by clicking this plus button over here, right? Um, so we've got our x-axis and if we change this 100, whoopsie, and if we change this 100 to zero, let's test that out. So she moves left and right, but when we push the up button, she doesn't move. We do, however, want her to be able to jump. And we'll do this by coming back to the controller button and choosing an on A button pressed. And we'll pop this underneath. We have our on A button pressed. And what we want to do now is change our sprites velocity. Remember that the top left hand corner is zero. So anything moving away from it needs to be a positive number. That's why we've got our acceleration to 200. So we need to make it a negative number if we want to, to be moving towards the zero. We'll go back to sprites. Select a set my sprite. Oh, bug. Change that to hero. And we'll change this to VY velocity. So we're choosing velocity now instead of acceleration because we want it to happen quickly. And let's change this to negative 100. Let's see what happens. Let's test it. Hmm. So our sprite is jumping, but she's not jumping as quickly as I would like her to jump. So you can play around with the numbers until you get a speed you're happy with. Let's try one. 50, whoops. Yeah, that's a bit better. I'm not liking now high, how high she's jumping. So what I want to do is I want to increase the gravity on her and I'll do that by increasing this number. Let's try 300. Let's see how that works. Yeah, that's a bit better. So I'm happy with that. So now we can use our um, arrow buttons to move her side by side and the A button to jump. If you're doing this on your keyboard, the A button is going to be your um, spacebar. Right, so that's it, but she's gone. So we want our camera to follow her when she moves around the scene. And we do that by coming back to scene, scrolling down until we find camera. We are gonna choose camera follow spread. Drop that under there. Change this to hero. Let's see what happens. So she moves, she jumps, she moves around. Great. Um, something I don't like though is this option to uh, double jump. 
I don't want the game to be as easy as that because in theory you can just make her sort of fly around the screen. So we'll change that. We'll make it a bit more challenging and to do that we'll grab a logic block. We'll grab this conditional and we want to sandwich our velocity. Right. So the way these conditional blocks work is if something, then something. We only want her to be able to jump if her velocity on the y-axis is equal to zero. So we'll come to use a logic block. We'll get this one that has equals. We'll drag that out and we'll pop it into there. So where it previously said true, it highlights as yellow and we'll drop that in. So if something is equal to zero, then back up to sprites, we'll choose my sprite, drop that into the first option, change that to hero and choose velocity in the Y axis. So in theory, we're saying if our sprite is standing on a platform, then our sprite will jump. Let's test this. Here's our sprite. She moves left to right. When I push the up button, she doesn't move. When I push the A button, she jumps. But does she double jump? No. Perfect. So this makes the game a little bit more challenging. You might need to play around with some of your platform heights because as you can see she can't make it back up onto the first platform but play around with it and see how you do that's the basics we've created a sprite we can move our sprite around she can jump she has gravity and we have platforms hopefully this is a good place for you to start when you're building your own platformer i hope this has helped and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I'd love to see your games, so share your games with us in the comments below or email your game to sterling at thisiscodebase.com and we'll feature it in our next webinar. Thank you for joining us. Have a good day.